So let me ask you, how likely is it that a family member or close friend may be the one to observe this is more than just normal anxiety and is it a betrayal you know with all of the HIPAA laws how does one as a loved one maybe intervene and communicate a problem to the doctor cancer is a family disease that there's no way you can separate and 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 to me family is how the patient defines family that can be um, you know, a spouse, it can be a significant other, it can be the children. So however the patient defines family, the family really is part of the cancer continuum with the patient. And definitely even the family's at risk for PTSD. But family members are key for professionals to approach, uh, to find out, and how they can do that by protecting the privacy of the patient and even not putting the, the family in a defensive position, mm -hmm. I think is to approach it such as, um, do you know if your wife has been having you know, any nightmares? It's, it's, and, um, or how has life returned you know, to normal? What are you still trying to you know, f figure out uh, to get life balanced again. Or another thing can be, has there been any, you know, real change in your relationship or with your wife's behavior? Because any person who, uh, you know, unfortunately comes upon a psychiatric situation such as anxiety or depression or PTSD, their behaviors are definitely going to have a change from what was normal for them previous to the diagnosis. What happens if one isn't as fortunate to have a healthcare professional who really takes into consideration the psychosocial issue and here you've got family members observing problems and they don't want to betray their loved one but they are carrying vital information that the provider needs to know. Well, I, I think that I would recommend because, you know, privacy and the HIPAA laws, of course, are uh, essential. And I believe privacy as an individual, because there is such a stigma still related to mental health issues. We can have many medical issues, but if it's mental health, it's um, many other times uh, thought that it's um, the individual's fault or some weakness in their character or their inability to cope. I, as a, from my point of view, would advise the family member to reach out to a support group, even to like a program like your program, to call in and ask what they should do or to contact a supportive resource like the wellness community and, and, and join that kind of supportive environment where they can hopefully express their concerns and in doing that too, involve the patient and then eventually that will lead them to the help they need in the medical establishment.